Let's go into a blank network diagram and take a look at shapes. On the left hand side, if you don't see the full shape box, you can click the arrow to expand it. And now we see all the different shapes based on the category that you chose for your template. So in our case, we chose a basic network, and so we see various different network shapes. And if we drag any one of those shapes out, then we can see that shape when we do. Now it doesn't give you any kind of a title underneath it, so you'll still have to go in and insert exactly what that is by clicking on the text box and then typing whatever the icon or the shape shows as. So in this case, we'll say printer, and then we can highlight that text and make it a little bit easier to read by changing it to black type. Then we can move that particular text box so it's underneath, and then we can move them together simply by selecting both boxes at the same time. And we see many different network and peripheral shapes. We can also click on computer and monitors, and it shows us various different computer types of shapes. And we can click on quick shapes. And these are shapes that Visio believes will make it easier on you because you've either chosen those shapes before or believes that these are really popular shapes you're probably going to want. If we click on more shapes, then we get to see something really interesting, and that is we see every different shape from every different template. So there are dozens and dozens here that you can choose. So, for instance, if I choose maps and floor plans, building plans, take a look at all the different ones that I can choose. Now I can drag those shapes right into my Visio diagram, and I can make them larger or smaller. I can also go into shapes and I can type words, so that way, in case I don't want to sift through a lot of different shapes, I can just type something in. Type in cloud, for instance. Hit enter. And it's not only going to look for shapes that are in Visio, but it's also going to look for shapes out online as well. So if I see one that I like, I can go ahead and drag that in just like any other shape. And I can also click to make it larger or smaller by left clicking and dragging on my mouse. If I want, I can spin them around and change it so the whole world is upside down. Let's go and create a detailed network diagram. We'll see the difference between a basic and a detailed. There we go. Click Create. And take a look. We automatically are going to see a lot more categories of shapes than we saw in the basic one. More than twice as many different ones. So, for instance, I now see servers, rack-mounted servers, all different kinds of shapes that we didn't see before. There's network symbols. If we scroll up, then we still see the network locations that we saw in the basic one as well. But we definitely see a lot more. And once again, you can go to more shapes and see all the different categories. So based on the type of template you choose, you're going to get different shapes for that category. If we choose a non-network based one, we're going to get something that's completely different. So if we go to File, New, and let's choose something that has nothing to do with technology, let's choose the Timeline. And now we see shapes that have to do with creating a timeline. You're not limited to the shapes that are in your particular template. You can go in and search for shapes or go to more shapes and see all the different options.